Hey, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Stefan. I just want to say thank you for visiting this channel. Um, if you find this video a benefit, please like and subscribe uh, because there's more to come. All right. So the first topic that I'm going to talk about, in, at least in this particular video, is going to be about fear. Uh, we all have it. It's a natural human reaction, right? Uh, fear can be used uh, constructively or it can be used destructively. And uh, what I want to focus on is the constructively part. Uh, because most of us, at, at some time or another, we're going to have it destructively where we just freeze up or we stick our hand, head in the sand and, and nothing gets done, right? So we've been conditioned to be afraid to fail. And that is not a good thing, guys. Because when we're afraid to fail, that means we are afraid to advance, right? I just want to give you an illustration, right? When we're born, do we know how to talk? Do we know how to do things or walk or anything? No. When it comes to walking, on average, it takes like 100,000 different attempts before a baby is able to walk. Now, this has been proven even by like um, animators when they're like animating like uh, um, dinosaurs on you know the, the computer there. It takes the computer like 100,000 some odd actions before it has some kind of uh, animation where the, the little critter is actually running across the screen, right? And it looks halfway decent. So life is failure, guys. I mean, this is something that you know we, we need to learn. So in regards to that, I just want to think of, or kind of give you two little other things that I found of value, okay? Um, there's two books that really changed my life. Well, three, three. Uh, first book, the Bible. The second book is a book um, where I don't agree with everything that was said, but um, is very beneficial. It, it was a book by Napoleon Hill. It is uh, called Think and Grow Rich. Um, has many practical tips within there. And uh, he also made a, a master class uh, that by applying the steps that were in it, I was able to gain an extra six thousand dollars a year with my current job. Not bad, you know. But hey, it, it's a, a step forward, and it, it, it's a, a nice little change in the pocketbook, right? It helps us get to the next step. All right. Now, there's another um, author, um, one that has a lot of information out there, and his name is Earl Nightingale. Now, this is a, a commentator that was out there uh, like in the, mid, in the 50s or so, and um, very practical information. There's two things that I want to share with you from him. The first is in regards of the golden goose and the golden eggs, right? Now, the golden, no golden goose laid the golden eggs, and obviously, whoever had that would be very wealthy. Now, if you had the choice to choose between the eggs or the golden goose, which would you choose? Golden goose, right? Makes sense. He followed that up with, well, in regards of our education, basically when we uh, grow ourselves, basically we are investing in ourselves, we become the golden goose, and in return, we are now producing the golden eggs. Many people, he says, go chasing after the golden eggs. That could be the fancy cars or a nice house or whatever it might be, instead of improving themselves, which would thus in turn give them all the other good stuff, right? The other thing that I found of uh, value from this gentleman was um, something that he said in regards of coming up with ideas. Now, for myself personally, in the morning time, I take advantage of that time uh, while I'm commuting to and from work, right? Every day I, I drive probably between 45 minutes to an hour to and from work each way, right? That's a lot of time. And for myself personally, I try to, you know, use that time productively. Okay, so what he was saying is basically if you don't have that long commute, uh, you can use that time productively early in the morning. So like wake up an hour earlier have your coffee, get yourself you know, up and going, and take that hour to write down ideas that could generate money. It could be anything. 
Now, he said to go ahead and focus in on your particular industry. So whatever it is that floats your boat. You know, for me, it, it, I, I enjoy playing with the computer world. I like uh, playing web, with websites and web uh, servers and, and things of that uh, nature, right? Uh, for other people, it might be makeup uh, or mechanical type stuff, right? So whatever field that you are in, you pretty much are kind of like an expert with that, right? Or if you're not an expert, you'd know it probably a lot better than I do or somebody else. So take that time each morning and write down just five ideas five ideas each day at the end of the week how many ideas if you you know do it uh, Monday through Friday well five times what five is 25 that's not bad and then uh, if you do 25 times 52 well you have well over a thousand ideas per year now statistically speaking when I when, even during like the recession I mean the recession stunk during the recession, you know, I, I was without work for a little while, and I, I took my uh, children around the block. We have a lot of uh, uh, businesses that are within the area. Now, within the business area, I hit up probably about maybe 30 businesses. Might have been more like 40. 40 businesses uh, just saying, hey, my name is Stefan. Uh, here's my little business card. You know, I, I like playing with, around with web design and things of that nature. You know, if you'd be interested, you know, give me a call or whatever, right? Now, out of all those businesses, I found two people that were very interested during the recession. Some guy, he wanted me to go ahead and jump into helping them out with logos, which I do not do. I hate logos. And then there was another uh, relatively new business that needed help with the website. Numbers. So if you have a thousand um, ideas each year, out of those thousand ideas, I'm sure you're bound to have at least one or more ideas that are very productive. So I want to say thank you guys for taking a look at this video. I ask that you please uh, subscribe and uh, hit that little thumbs up button over there. And as time goes along, I'd like to have uh, you guys also share with me some other things that you found to be of benefit. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.